Hello, this is Rob Coven. Let's go straight ahead and submit a story, create a new post on Steemit. So in order to do that, you go right up to the right here under Submit a Story. And there you're faced with a title, a content area, and the tags area. So let's write the title. Now the title should be catchy. It should be interesting to people when they first see it. This is what they see in the feed. They also see the first line of the content in here. So let's make up a great title. Okay, so I'm keeping it quite short in this particular post. Usually I make them a little bit longer, but I think this is a title that will resonate with the Steemit community. I'm posting a post about Steemit. I'll talk in another video about the subjects of other posts. You don't have to post about Steemit, but it just so happens that posts about Steemit do particularly well on Steemit. You'll be surprised to hear. So one thing you'll see up here is the editor. Now if you click on that, it will give you an editor with a normal line of icons that you will recognize from uh, your average text editors online or word processing packages. And it's great. However, there is one downfall about this editor, and that is the image. You cannot upload an image with this editor at the moment, which is a great shame. Uh, so what I tend to do is use Markdown, and I will be explaining a little bit more about Markdown as we go along and in another video, uh, because it does seem to be the best way because you can then select images here. I'm gonna select one here. And if you wait a bit, then the markdown will appear here in markup format, but the actual post, the image here, will display beneath the post. So we can put in text above here, and then you can easily see the text here and the image beneath it. I just fleshed out the post there. I've added a few more paragraphs. It's a lot longer but there's still loads more to do and loads more to tell you. There are links to the Markdown cheat sheets in Steemit, but if you just Google Markdown cheat sheet, you will see the basics of Markdown. You'll see this double hash and then a space before headings that I use. You'll also see the asterisks for italics, doubles for bolds. Let's have a look at them here. Here is a title, two hashes followed by a space. There it is there. Same for that number two there. If you want to mention a Steemian on Steemit, just mention their handle with the at sign before it, and then that will convert to a link and go to, if you click on it, their home page where you can see their posts. So links, let's show you links. Here we have one here. The anchor text of the link is in square brackets and then straight away open normal brackets and there you paste the link in, close the normal brackets. I'm gonna do this again just to show you what I mean. So square brackets around the anchor text and then we do normal brackets and paste in the link, which is going to be that one. So that's giphy.com. I'm talking about animated GIFs there. You can get them from giphy.com and just, just copy, copy the link and uh, paste that in and your animated GIFs will work. Emojis, you can see I've put a couple there and a couple there in the title. You just get the emoji from emojipedia.org, copy it and paste it up into the title. Images I, show, I told you before, you can upload them by clicking this link here. I'll show you how to do that now. Let's put an image in here, couple of returns, select it and so if I scroll down right down to the bottom, there is the image I just put in, and there is the sentence I just typed. 
I've made these images about 700 pixels wide, and that is wide enough. I'll show you when I've published it that that is wide enough for them to be centered in the post. It looks like they're ranged left at here, which they are, but the post on Steam it is narrower, so they will fit inside the post nicely. There's some italics, and if you look above here, those italics are done by asterisks. If I doubled the asterisks, then that will turn to bold there. So I'm just going to add some more text at the bottom and another image. There's the text that I always add and an image I always add asking people to follow me. Then there are five keywords or tags separated by spaces. You're only allowed five. You can use one or five. Probably best to use all five. And the first one is going to be the category that the post will end up in. So if I look at another Steamians page, you'll see that after every post, there's one main category. That is the first tag that we put in. And in order to see tags, you can see tags and topics here. These are the most popular. And then if you show more topics, then you'll see all of the tags and you'll see which ones are popular by the numbers of posts and the payouts in Steamback dollars. One more thing to say before we published is here you can check this to upvote your own post. I would always have that checked. The rewards are always at 50 50. That's 50 Steam Power and 50 Steamback dollars. However, I'm going to power up. 100%, which means I want all the proceeds, all the money I make from this post, hopefully that's a lot, to go back into my Steam Power. And I will explain the difference between Steam, Steam Power, and Steam Back Dollars in another video. You can also decline payout from your post. Presumably, if you're so rich, you don't need any money and you want money to stay with the community. But I'm going to go for Power Up 100 at the moment. I would advise you to do either that or the 50 50 power up. So that's it. So we're going to post. Boom. There we go. You can already see I've made three cents on the post. That's because of my vote, upvote, which is currently worth three cents. I've got one upvote and no responses yet. No, no comments on it, of course, because it was only posted 24 seconds ago. And there is me. And there is the main category or tag that I posted it in. Oh my God, I forgot the most important thing. And that is to put a video in. So I'll scroll down quickly to the bottom. And in order to put a video in, you just get the URL of a YouTube video or a Vimeo video, and you paste it into the post like that. Phew. Another thing to tell you is that the first image in the post, whether it's a video or a proper image, will be used as the thumbnail image on the home page. So I'll refresh that, it'll probably disappear. It's, it's disappeared because other posts have come in. Look at how many posts have come, come in and there is mine and it's got the new thumbnail. There's that little black line on the top that happens with YouTube videos, but I do like to put YouTube videos in my Steemit posts. Okay, we got there in the end. My name is Rob Coven. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to promote this post.